Uh, anyways, Mason, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, uh, which is, of course, the upcoming live-action Supergirl movie. It's based on the Tom King comic of the same name. That's right. Give it a read if you haven't. It's it goes on a quest across the universe. Good. Pretty exciting. That's right. It's got a release date of June 26, 2026. Mm, that's handy to remember. Agreed. The 6th uh, of the 6th. That's right. 26. <gasps> That's right. Uh, dumb Money Director. The number of the beast plus 20 more. <laughs> yeah. I'm so dehydrated. Uh, dumb Money Director. No, Cro- James. Oh, um, that doesn't play with our audiences. I need to piss so much. Better. Do, do, but too much. Dumb Money Director. Yeah, they're loving that. James, they're loving it. <laughs> dumb Money Director. Do you watch Dumb Money about the uh, GameStop No, stock I didn't thing? watch that, no. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Well, that's happening again, isn't it? It's kicking off. Now's a good time to get in, actually. <laughs> you think so? This is financial advice. Oh, no. Yeah, the, the, um, the, the price has spiked, mm. and that's when you buy. That's what you want. Financial advice from a man who's desperate for a piss. <laughs> I'll stop doing this now. No, you don't Unless it becomes funny again to me, <laughs> in which case I will. Uh, don't buy these. Actually, or do do whatever. None of this is do what you want. I'm not responsible. I'm only responsible for my own bladder. Uh, so, Dumb Money director Craig Gillespie will direct, and Anna Nguera is pl- as penning the screenplay. Interesting. So okay. you, there you go. It's two years away. Okay. Mm. What what has this director done before? I'm Dumb Money? just looking that up. Right. Oh, yeah. the director. That's yes. a great question. Or the writer. Both of those uh, the people. Writer. They, they both seem like people of note to oh, me. She was on the Michael J. Fox show. Uh, the family the, ties. No, not that one. A, 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 a later Spin one. Spin City. No, Mason. But something about Michael J. Fox and his family, etc. High Town. Is that a good show? I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, Is that about the family of High Town from Police Academy? Yes, that's right. Wow, yeah. seems to be getting good reviews. Very yeah. pretty. Cool. All right, it's a stars thing. Who's got stars? I don't know. I don't know what's going on in stars. Mm. I just don't know. And Craig Gillespie is. Related to jazz performer Dizzy Gillespie. Yes, he is. That's interesting. I did Corella and I, Tonya. Okay. People like I, Tonya. Yeah. Also, Corella's not terrible. Okay. But do people love it? So it's like it's like Wonka. You've seen Wonka. It's Wonka. But it's Corella. So, you've you seen know. Wonka. You've seen them all. You've seen them all. That's right. So there you go. 2026. More dates, though. Daredevil Born Again got dated March 2025. Okay. After extensive reshoots. Okay. Well, that's sooner than Supergirl. So that'll tide us over until Supergirl. God, the first Daredevil, I think it's going to be 10 years, more than 10 years (laughs) after the the first one came out. So that's pretty crazy. What if in the first episode he throws out his back and he can't do it anymore? Not the actor. It's relatable. But the character does. What if they are? No, they both should do it. He's just schlepping around. Just schlepping about. Oh, my God, we're back. I need someone to replace me. Not Iron Fist, someone else. (laughs) Anyone, anyone, literally anyone. Kingpin, yeah, that's fine. Um... (laughs) Ironheart is just dated for 2025. That's never coming out. I don't know what that means. It's never coming out. But Agatha all along, it's got its final name change. Does God, it, though? It took, we, it took us on a merry chase. Oh, what a merry chase. What an incredible joke that, like, three <laughs> people are in on. And it doesn't work, and it's based on the popularity of a novelty song from many years ago. Yeah. That nobody 20, remembers 20, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's starting on September 18th, and it's going to have a two-episode premiere, and okay. it's going to go week to week. Not that I don't that. love the work of Catherine Hahn. No, of course. But... And anything can well, be good. It's got well, it's got Aubrey Plaza. Oh yeah, and it's four to five years too late. That's so true. And that's good. Both things in its favour. So, so yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, One Division was great. We all had a good time. Remember when One Division came out? And they went Marvel Television will never stop. It'll never die. That's right. It'll always be good. We'd say. That's right. We said Marvel Television, Disney Television, always good, never going to die. None of our TV stars will be run over by a snowplow. They said, which was such a weirdly specific thing to say. That is in retrospect. <laughs> God, that's so specific, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. No? Yeah, I don't Paul know, man. Bettany yeah. was run over by one of those things that flattens ice on a hockey rink. Was he? A Zamboni. Wow. He got zamboni Did you know that? Sounds like he got him with the mob. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> That's, right, yeah. That's a mob death, Mason. Mm. We all know what's happening here. Yeah. And also, oh, we'll, we'll jump to Spider-Man. Also not there, yeah. Armor Wars, whatever that is now. Movie again? <laughs> yeah, TV show. It's a movie again. That's out again. Movie again. Okay. Rhodey's in it and he's yeah. like, I'm real, I'm not an alien maybe. Mm. Yeah. And I got all my memories or something. That's right. From the, whenever this from happened. The electricity went through my brain and yeah, I got all right. my memories again. Don't mm. even worry about it. We're never going to mention it. No. But as rumoured, we knew this series was coming. They're doing a Spider-Man noir series um, on MGM+. Plus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's, you know, old-timey logo, old-timey series. Yeah. MGM+, Plus, really? Well, I think, aren't they in the – no, because Amazon are in MGM. <laughs> yes, they do. That's so true. that's – yeah. Part of that or I guess something? So, yeah, sure. I guess it's just a production wing of 
I it's guess under it is. everything. Yeah. I don't know. That's right. Well, they have. All I the- don't. I can't get. I don't know who owns anybody James, anymore. It's okay because they kept all the black and white sets from the olden times. Did they? From all the old movies, all your Humphrey Bogarts and whatever. They just kept the old kept sets, the painted black and white. Painted, yeah, that's right. And they they kept, didn't. They kept all the black and white makeup you put on oh, people, so God. they're black and white when they go on the set and yeah, stuff, yeah. and that doesn't contrast weirdly. That's really good. Yes. You know, they used to think about this stuff in the olden days. Yeah. Now, if they made a black and white movie, all the actors would be in regular makeup and it'd be in color. Embarrassing. What? Yeah. Do they know what they're doing? No. Yeah. They don't because they've greenlit all this stuff we just talked about, which sounds bad. <laughs> no. Spider-Man, Spider-Man Noir. Spider-Man Noir does sound good. The synopsis sounded a little bit interesting to me. Yeah. Is it something along the lines of it's a man reckoning with the fact that he yes. was it's going the to take own place superhero? in an alternate 1930s New York and will focus on an older and more experienced hero. And it sounds to me like he used to be a Spider-Man. That's what I'm saying. And then he's yeah. not in the costume, et cetera, and Nicolas Cage is 55. That's, that's where I'm going with that. Yeah. I think. Oh, yeah, Nicolas Cage is reprising the yeah. role, by the way. And this is live action or animated? This is live action. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, what it suggested, to, what that, the, the specific phrasing of it suggested to me, that is about he was a superhero. So I think there might be some Ooh, allusions to he'll, he'll to suit up. No, at the end or in a flashback? No, he'll wear the noir suit, I think. But I think he'll mostly be maskless, if I had to guess. Yeah. No, or he gets a lot of money to someone else does. Body double, sure. Yeah, yeah. He'll get the Mandalorian body double guy. Exactly. He's on the payroll. Yeah, whatever his name is. He needs another job. They're probably not paying him enough. Yeah. He could probably just do these back to back. Yeah, it's cost us Mandalorian. <laughs> Remember him? Australia's but, own? Yeah, Mandalorian. Mm. Yeah. Um, also, on the topic of Spider-Man things that will probably get cancelled or something. Spider-Man, the t- animated, little animated no, series No, well, yeah, but... Freshman year? Pri- yeah, that's happened. And Prime Video apparently have dropped Sony's Silk Spider Society, okay. which would have centred on Cindy Moon. Now, this might go somewhere else. I would say it's not. I remember hearing rumblings of this after Madam Web came out, and mm. I think they went, oh, girl, Spider-Man. <laughs> No, no, I don't know. But, you know, you should have made a good movie. We were planning on only showing Silk in costume for two minutes every episode, so <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But, and that's that kind of ruined Madam Web, didn't it? Which one's Cindy Moon? I can't she, remember. Uh, yeah. va- va- right, she she didn't live in society for a long time. And then oh, she, she was squirreled and, away or something? Yeah, that's, right, vague, that's my vague notion of that character. Yeah, cool. Yes. I like the costume. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think it lost a bunch of creative people along the way and right. whatever. So that's probably uh-huh. not happening. So Donnie Yen's character from John Wick, the blind guy with the cane. That's right. Whose name is Kane. Whoa. Uh, they should have called him blind. Should... <laughs> blind? Blind. Okay. What are you, deaf? Are you the character deaf from John Wick 5? This time he fights a deaf guy. <laughs> this time he sneaks up on a deaf guy and kills him really easily. Yep. Um, yeah, so the character debuted in 2023's John Wick 4 and he's getting his own <laughs> spin-off movie. So he's free of the family or something. Okay. Because he tried to kill John Wick that yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. No, he did it. He, he, he f- did the deal, whatever, in I that movie. Did Great movie. Yeah. If you haven't seen And interesting character and whatever. And mm. how does a blind guy <laughs> shoot people? Yeah. I don't know. He just does it, right? That's right. Yeah. Are we going to have an appearance from New Guy? New, new guy. guy with Dog? Remember New, new Guy with Dog? With dog? New, who was New Guy with Dog? Mr. Nobody, he called himself. Do you who remember played that guy? him? Can't remember. God, you're really testing my metal nation. <laughs> John Wick 3 cast. Here we go. Here so we, we go. We're looking things up. Wasn't Mark DeCascos' Zero, was it? No, that's Mark DeCascos from wasn't Double Jake Dragon. Jake and Man- Jason Manzoukas, the TikTok man. It wasn't man. J- Jason Manzoukas. I don't know. What was his name again? Mr. Nobody. You're Mr. Nobody, you dumbass. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and I'm loving Was he it. like a young guy? Yeah. Oh, this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shamir yeah. Anderson. Yeah, he was. I like Tracker. He was good, yeah. Tracker. Cool, man. Like that. Cool, 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 cool.